to this videos? If we make 5000 likes to this video, we will implode more patriotic news. Thank you. Democrats are panicking now that their ties to Pakistan were just revealed in this picture. House IT specialist Timran Awan was arrested Monday night at Dallas International Airport in Virginia about 30 miles away from D.C. on bank fraud charges while trying to leave the country. Awan Apasitani National was the House IT aide working for Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Florida, the former Democratic National Committee chairwoman and has also worked with many other Democratic leaders. Debbie Wasserman Schultz allegedly is at the center of a scheme that involved double charging the House for IT equipment, and may also have exposed House information online according to multiple reports. Schultz has since been on damage control because her spokesperson said that Awen had been fired on Tuesday, a day after he was arrested they said, Mr. Awen previously served as an employee in our office, but his services have been terminated. In March. A group of House Democrats fired A1 and one other staffer over their alleged involvement in the scheme and the looming criminal investigation. A1 and his family had been working for the Democrats for many years. Well I'll know the Democrats are extremely corrupt, their motto is do it until they get caught then figure out how to continue doing it in another way. Do you think Debbie Wasserman Schultz will be indicted? Share this report with everyone and show them the deep corruption of the Democrats. H slash T the hill. Urgent Jeff Sessions about to announce something that'll make Washington squirm. New reports from Fox News and others have confirmed that Attorney General Jeff Sessions will soon reveal several criminal leak investigations. U.S. officials said that the planned announcement surrounding the recent effort on leaks investigation has been in the works for some time and will most likely happen sometime in the next week. The recent development has come days after President Donald Trump has put intense pressure on Attorney General Jeff Sessions. President Trump is heard lashing out about Sessions in leaked audio with The New York Times, also just recently at a joint press conference with Prime Minister of Lebanon. President Trump said, the investigations that the Justice Department will be conducting will look into the recent intelligence leaks that were given to the media and other agencies. President Donald Trump has said that this issue should be a top priority for Jeff Sessions but until now Sessions has been covert about the issue. Jeff Sessions seems to be getting President Donald Trump's message really clear. Find the leakers and lock them up. Also, go after Hillary Clinton and her goons. What do you think of Attorney General Jeff Sessions, should President Trump fire him? Share this if you support Trump's decision no matter what. At least Sessions seems to be working. Bad blood what happened to this Fox News host last night should make everyone sick. Kat Timpf, a commenter for the National Review and the Libertarian co-host on Fox News Specialists was assaulted in Brooklyn Monday night while attending a campaign event. The attacker threw a bottle of water over Timpf's head and splashed it in her eyes. She told the New York Post of the attack, this was a pre-planned thing. Just to see someone look you in the eye with that kind of anger and hatred and whip water in your face. Is a terrifying thought. The way things have gotten, it's just so sick. I don't even have a right to exist in public is how it feels. The attack forced Timf to cancel a speech she had planned later that evening. She unleashed a tweet storm on Monday talking about what happened, saying in part, that's what we're doing? Verbal assault on Twitter not enough anymore? I've had it. I'm an actual, human person. I have a soul, a family, I have feelings. I work really hard, I feel as though I never stop working, and to have the end result be to not even be able to exist in the world as a human being without being assaulted verbally and now physically by strangers? Tim filed a police report, but her attacker is still at large. These attacks against prominent people on the right are sick and need to end. Timp was clearly targeted. Where is the outrage? Share this 50,000 times if you support Kat Timp and if you're tired of these ideological attacks. H slash T New York Post Kid shows up at Trump rally with something sick in his hands, immediately all hell breaks loose. 
President Donald Trump had a massive 20,000 people rally in Youngstown, Ohio, the same place that catapulted him into the Republican nomination for president. While he was speaking, he heard a commotion behind him and this is what he saw, the president was heard saying, wow, he is a young one, it's okay he will be in trouble with mommy when he gets home, even though I'm sure his mommy voted for us. The police acted fast and accordingly, even though this kid can face criminal charges he was just escorted out and investigated for warrants. When he was cleared he was released. President Donald Trump had an energized and robust speech with the very people that elected him into office, the American people. If you haven't seen the speech, watch it below you will not be disappointed. Share this if you think that Trump should keep on doing his rallies. Do you think that Trump is working hard to make America great again still? Let's show him that we still appreciate him by spreading this everywhere. Hillary is horrified the FBI just arrested top Democrat IT guy for something terrible. The House of Cards is finally coming tumbling down. Late last night the FBI arrested the DNC's top IT guy, Imran Awan, while he was trying to flee the country to Pakistan. So what's the big deal about this guy? Well, Imran has been a target of FBI investigations for a very long time now. The Deems have defended him ruthlessly even going as far as threatening a police chief on camera. He was the top IT consultant for Debbie Wasserman Schultz while she headed the DNC. In just five years, the Deems paid Imran and his family in Pakistan $4 million. Imran and his family also had full access to all the DNC's emails and many of the emails of individual Democrat politicians. The FBI finally got him, though. When Awan and his wife took out a $165,000 loan on a house in the U.S. they owned and did not live in as a final payday before fleeing to Pakistan. Even more suspicious, his wife pulled their kids from school and packed up everything leave in May of this year. Almost like they knew they were in trouble. When the FBI showed up at his house this week to seize hard drives that are part of their investigation, they found Imran had smashed all of them with a hammer. Sounds a lot like a Hillary Clinton move. Well, now they have him. The FBI finally found a chink in the chain of the Democrat crime family. Now, the questions is can they get him to squeal on his bosses and which bosses will he rat out? Never forget the horrible moment that Debbie Wasserman Schultz threatened a D.C. police chief over a laptop they investigating related to his case. She really didn't want them to see what was on it. Share this out so people see that Trump really is getting close to taking down the criminals in Washington, D.C. Back at IT Skull Eyes just made a huge announcement about his recovery that's stunning America. House Majority Whip Steve Skull Eyes, RLA, has just been discharged after over a month in the hospital, NBC reports. Rep. Scalise was gravely injured in a gunman attacked Republicans while they practiced for the congressional baseball game June 14. MedStar Washington Hospital Center said Scalise was in good spirits and is looking forward to his return to work once he completes, and continued, he and his family are grateful for the care he received from the trauma team as well as the other doctors, nurses, and staff. Scalise was shot in the hip during the attack by James T. Hodgkinson a Bernie Sanders supporter who hated Republicans and had a list of conservative politicians in his pocket while he carried out the attack. Hodgkinson died in a shootout with police after wounding four people. House Speaker Paul Ryan welcomed the news of Scalise's hospital release, Scalise will begin intensive inpatient rehabilitation before going back to work. The congressman still has a way to go, but the hardest part is already over. Share 10,000 times if you support Rep. Scalise and wish him a speedy recovery at home. H slash TNBC. Victory Donald Trump just struck the ultimate jobs deal Obama could only dream of. One of the biggest failings of the Bush and Obama administrations was the fact that neither cared that Apple, the largest U.S. smartphone company, made all their stuff in China. Good thing Donald Trump is president now. 
Trump has been working on a massive deal with iPhone maker Foxconn to bring production back to the U.S. and he has finally done the impossible. Trump just got Foxconn to build a $10 billion factory in Wisconsin. This new factory is expected to bring up to 13,000 new jobs to the United States as well. Trust me when I say this is a very big accomplishment. America can finally have some pride in making at least a portion of our beloved products instead of simply letting China make and install their own spyware on all of them. This new factory is expected to do more than simply bring jobs. In fact, it is predicted that a project of this size could lead to Wisconsin becoming a manufacturing powerhouse and even see the growth of a new town or city. Either way, this is absolutely a huge win for the American people. We need to have jobs coming in, not leaving. Help share Trump's new victory to everyone you know and say thank you to him in the comments.